Hi, I'm Dr. David Atley. When we teach sciences, especially the physical sciences like physics or chemistry or biology, oftentimes it's really useful to have live demonstrations that we can do in the classroom in order to illustrate important course concepts. In astronomy, that's a lot harder for a couple of important reasons, uh, the most obvious of which is that normally we teach class during the day and except under very unusual circumstances, the stars only come out at night. So instead of using live physical demonstrations in the classroom, oftentimes I like to rely on digital demonstrations that I can run either on a projection screen or that students can then try on their home computers in order to go back over important course concepts. One tool that I like to do that is Nap Labs from the astronomy department at the University of Nebraska at Lincoln. Up until now, they've been able to run in your browser using Adobe Flash, but because Adobe Flash has been deprecated and it's no longer receiving security updates, that's no longer a good idea. And so instead, I'm going to be relying on the desktop version of Nap Labs in my classes. I also encourage all of my students, if you have either a Mac or a PC, to download the executable for the Nap Labs that you can run on your own computer, and so you can try a lot of these demonstrations yourself and to play around and see how things change depending on where the observer is or time of year or a bunch of other variables that are relevant to particular situations. So in this video, I'm going to be walking through how do you actually go and get that executable that you can run on your own computer, again, assuming that you run either a Mac or a PC. If you do something a little more exotic, like a Chromebook or you run a Linux box, unfortunately, this option is not going to be available for you. So, but if that's the case, I'll have a bunch of demonstration videos that I'll post working through all of these in-class demos, and therefore you can go ahead and look at those and that does become an option for you if you're in one of those circumstances where you're using something like a Chromebook or a Linux box. But assuming that you run a Mac or a PC like most students will, you can come to this page, which is linked on the course Blackboard page, and you can download the appropriate Nap Labs executable for your operating system. I run a Mac, so I'm going to click on the link for Nap Labs under Mac OS. If you're running Windows, you'd click this one up here. Okay, so when you click on that link, you're gonna see a page that looks something like this. This is totally normal. This is an error message that you should expect. Box is a file sharing utility, kind of like Dropbox or Google Drives. And it's saying, I can't preview this file for you because it's an application installer and that's not one of the supported formats, but you can still download the file. So just go ahead and click on download. The download will start. It'll take a few minutes to finish. I'll just go ahead and open that installer file. I'll get this installation window. Now I've already got this installed on my machine, so I'm not gonna run through the installation process again, but if this is your first time and you get a little bit stuck, Nap Labs does provide these installation videos for you to help walk you through any snags that might come up during the process. And then at the end of the day, you'll be able to go to your applications on Mac or to your start window on PC and open up Nap Labs. Good luck with your download and installation, and I'll see you in class.